Hey everybody and welcome to my channel, Lady T's Things That Bling, Crafting and Creating with Lupus. Today we are going to be talking about sublimation via the toaster oven and the mug press. Which one would you prefer? So I'm starting out with two um, sublimation mugs. We have the short one, which is 11 ounces, and we also have the tall one, which is 15 ounces. I already pre-cut my items and um, now you see me pasting them on to or taping them on to the mug with heat resistant tape and i'm also putting on um butcher paper some people call it butcher paper some people call it parchment paper um, and i'm doing that so that when i put on the green wrap if any um image would try to come through it won't get on the green wrap i've experienced that that's why i'm telling you this that it's better to put the parchment paper on before you put on the green uh, wrap. Now, I did get the green wrap from Amazon, and I got the cups from Amazon as well. And again, I'm just taping on the image with heat-resistant tape. And now I'm applying parchment paper to the tall mug as well. Now, I'm going to put the tall mug, the 15-ounce mug, into the mug press. And I'm going to put the smaller mug into the toaster oven. Now, the toaster oven works really well for sublimation. And I, as you can see on the toaster oven i have it set for six minutes but i had to do it twice because the first six minutes did not work it was not done after the first six minutes so i actually had to do the process twice and um it came out after i did it twice But there you see I've taken the big mug, the 15-ounce mug, out of the mug press. And I flipped the green sleeve off because it is very, very hot. Very hot. Now, the handle of the mug doesn't get hot. That's why I can touch it and take the image off of the cup. And there you see, voila, that's the image for the mug press. And it only takes about two, let's see, three minutes, I believe, for the mug press to do it. Actually, it's, I have it set for 240 seconds. So that's how long I have the mug press set for. Now, this, you see, I have to use gloves because... The whole mug is hot. <laughs> you don't want to touch it coming out of the toaster oven because you will get burnt. And here I'm trying to take the tape off without using a tool, which is not a smart idea because the cup is at 400 degrees. So being goofy, I'm trying to take it off quickly and see. And even with the glove mitt, if you hold it too long, you can feel that heat coming through. And it's not even funny. That stuff is hot. There I go again, being goofy. May I please suggest that you use a tool, something, a pair of tweezers, or something to get the tape off. Or just wait till it cools down. And it takes ceramic a long time. A very long time to cool down so I would just suggest using a tool as in tweezers to pull the edge of that tape up so you can pull it off voila we have it now I got this um, toaster oven from the thrift store for $15 believe it or not I didn't think it was gonna work as well 
Now to the comparison. Which one is better? So that's the one from the toaster oven. And if you can see that a little bit, I could have left it in a little bit longer because the dress, her dress, her shirt down there is a little faded. So I could have left that in there for about 15 minutes. And that's the mug press. It's already all the way pressed. So which one do you prefer? I like both ways, um, especially if I'm doing a lot of mugs. I can have both of them going simultaneously. But I really do prefer the mug press. That is my opinion. And that is what I like. And I hope you enjoyed the video. If you have any questions, please leave them down below. If you have any comments, please leave them down below. And as always, I thank you so much for watching. You could have been doing something else, but you chose to watch my channel. Thank you so much and God bless you. Don't forget to click like. Don't forget to comment and please don't forget to share. This is Lady T signing out and may you have a blessed day. All right.